Good morning. Welcome to the Alan Osborne Show. Man, what a week we had last week here locally in Walton County. I'm also going to be doing a show upcoming here, just so you know, about the school board race and stuff over in Okaloosa County, because some viewers have asked me to look into it, see what I think. Before I get into things, this is going to be the Hallelujah Sunday morning election rundown. Uh, I'm going to briefly touch on the BCC about where we're at. So update on the BCC after the shit show meeting where Barker and them wouldn't let anybody speak after they called us all cowards, but gave us no chance to speak. The headlines say the FDLE is going to investigate. And that's a good thing. I'm not saying it's not, but it won't replace a complete audit of the county. We don't need an in-depth more report of this 50 grand. I mean, we do, but I think it would just scratch the surface of planning, code, and every department in the county. I mean, when's the last time somebody went through the sheriff's books in 12 years? I think he has what, $60 million a year running through there? Folks, it's time that the taxpayers knew. So that go to those online petitions. I believe they're on several groups in Facebook. They're being emailed around. Uh, I think Dan Curry has one on his side. I saw it on the Defuniac Springs buy trade, buy sell and trade. Uh, like I said, it's on the on some of the visioning pages. Go sign that petition. Let's get that thing up to a thousand signatures. Heck, some 1,700, 1,800 people have watched some of my episodes. Surely you guys can take the same amount of time and fill out that petition. What, no matter what side of the coin you're on, if you hate me and I'm crazy and you're right, well, let's see who's right. Let's have an audit. I think that's the way to go. You know, now Alan Osborne show. So I'm going to get away from that mess because that mess is going to be, and let's get, let's get back to the, the five meter target here with its closest to us, the fire, the fire that's burning our feet. And that's the election. Okay. I took a lot of heat for the episode uh, that I produced about the gold star, which is the death of a person in combat. And so I'm gonna say this before I get into it. This is David Buchanan. Some of you may see him come to door to door and here's the deal, David. You sent people to, and a lot of the people that came and attacked me said, Alan, what have you done? And of course, they're new to the game. So besides just being a loudmouth person on here who tells the truth, unlike David, who's never served a day in his life, I think it was pretty disgraceful that he had to resurrect a dead hero to associate himself with in order to gain attention. David's signs are about the flag. He waves the Bible. He serves, he served neither one of those. Listen, you know why I can say that, David? And to all David's defenders who have attacked me as being somebody who hadn't served? Because I served, David. I served 35 years in the Department of Defense. From 1985 to 2020, from the age of 17, I signed up and I served. I served about eight Christmases sitting in war zones. I saw my dead friends go to Arlington. And I have every right to call you chicken shit for associating yourself with that. That's disgraceful. Nobody cares what a dead hero has done and nobody disgraced him. Only you chose to associate yourself with him. When you have no real association with the military, David, you've never served a day. You couldn't identify the chow line. And so for me to you, and for you guys that said you don't understand the Green Berets, I spent years in special operations. I flew special operations helicopters. I was enlisted in the Army, a NCO in the Army, a warrant officer in the Army, and got my commission at Fort Benning, Georgia, home of the infantry. I also held a commission in, in the Air Force and was assigned to U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command for over 20 years as active duty and as and a civilian, not a civilian contractor, but a DOD civilian. So David, you gutless coward for sending people to attack my record, you simply have not one. And I was justified in telling you 
that you had no business and anybody would have known what you did was just grandstanding and we see it. And if you haven't seen it, see it now. Go watch that episode and know that was wrong. So this is David Buchanan. He waves the Bible and his friends say he walked, he lives his life like Jesus. Go see the post about the lawsuits and what people have said about him as a builder. David, we want to know what you have done. But you can stop hiding behind the flag because you've never served it. I have, and I say that to you, David. But you know who has served it? Donna Johns. I've never seen in 20 years of me going to meetings, David, I've never seen you at one. Not at all. And you were served paperwork that you knew. Maybe you got that degree in criminal justice because you knew that you would need it. I don't know. But that's one of your candidates, a guy who's out here. This guy is not prepared to serve the community. He's prepared to serve himself. And if he can't follow the rules, have y'all not noticed what the BCC can't do? Is that what we need, a developer? This is what David's construction sites look like. Oh, yeah, this is him. He was part of this. Y'all remember that? This is people in the county not following the rules and us taxpayers paying. So let's go on to the next candidate that's running. Chaz Galloway, really not worth spending time on. Chaz is a waste of oxygen because he can't see any project through. If it's too hard, he'll just quit. Chad was famous. It's a shame Chaz has been a comedian. He's been a streaker. Let's see, he's been embedded with the Democrats all over. In fact, this picture behind me was from the HB, uh, the House bill where they were all protesting over customary use. And he was in thick as thieves with Hugh Felder and Rosh Cobb and those, causing great embarrassment and great cost to this county. When that failed, Chaz thought he'd follow me and Dan Coasting around as we tried to tell the truth. And he came on and talked about how bad the county government was that he now says is great because he worked there for a while and quit and mined all our data. This is bullshit too. Look, Chaz quit because me telling the truth didn't get him where. You know, Chaz participated in such great work as the Duds of Walton. And, and Nick's big pile. He also filmed the video. He said he didn't have any, didn't know where the corruption was in Walton County, yet he also filmed the 13 minutes of me chastising the county at that meeting about not following the law. He also filmed the water just being dumped through pipes that was prohibited in Sandesta. Poor Chaz. Chaz, you just think anything in life that you're gonna try it for 12 or 14 months. And if it don't work, you'll switch to something else. That's not who we need to be as a commissioner. Chaz, go pay your IRS tax lien. So that leaves us in district four with Donna Johns. Donna Johns is a veteran. She has gone to meetings and she served as well as the mosquito commissioner. She gets out there and leads. If you're in a community that hasn't seen Donna, and you want change in the county, please invite Donna to walk her through your neighborhood and introduce her to your community and your issues that you would want her to know about. I'll bet you she'll show up. Boy, hasn't Chaz been quiet since his butt buddies up there, uh, Barker and Danny and all of them are on the chopping block? I don't know. I don't know who kiss more ass to get somebody in office. If it would be Chaz Galloway or Robert Nelson, both of them, if, if Mike Barker ever slams on the brakes, both of their, each one of their heads will fly out, fly out Barker's eyeball sockets because that's how far they have their heads shoved up his hind end. So that's the district four race. In the school board race, Alan Osborne is going to have to go with Gordon Porter and MH Carr because Catalano is conflicted as crap. When's the last time you saw a school board member show up at, at the BCC and say, hey, why are you approving these developments when we haven't got any room in schools for the kids? You won't see that happen. You won't see Russell Hughes's 
down there saying that because it's not politically correct with the people that help keep him in office. You won't see Jason Catalano down there scolding planning because he works in planning. What a conflict. So in the school board race, like I said, I'm gonna have to go with Carr and Gordon for a change. Eden's record is shameful and his past is shameful. Surely this young man can do better than that. And I'm willing to give him a chance. He's out there hustling, acting like he cares. Like I said, David Buchanan was nowhere to be seen in politics until it was good for his pocket. And how can this man make 37,000 a year and live in a $5 million home? And how can he have a tax lien and think he could serve us as a commissioner? He's not even sure if he's a Democrat or a Republican sometimes. I don't know. So that's where the local races and that's where the information falls on the Alan Osborne show. We need this audit. Unless you're willing to let somebody like that decide the fate of the county. Maybe your legislative liaison can play the gazoo like the Pied Piper and lead us to something, but I doubt it. He'll probably look like this, but we need better than this in office. And I'm gonna tell you right now, they have no intent the BCC of telling us the truth. And what they did, at least Tony Anderson tried to go get the answers without making excuses. It is what it is on the Alan Osborne show. And that's the way it is on Sunday. So before you throw stones, yeah, I threw some stones because I set my Christmases away from my family in combat zones. That's right, David, I did. And Donna did, but you didn't. So. Vote for the only veteran that's out there, Donna Johns. Vote for the Gordon Porter guy to give a better chance for the school board and MH Carr. It's time that we had honest officials who are willing to speak out and let's give them a chance in the Walton County of Collections and go sign the petition. Let's get down to brass tacks and see who's right and who's wrong. I've been at this about 18 or 20 years. And I'd say my, I say my track record's about 95% of what I say is about to happen and the screwing we're about to get has occurred. So go look at my track record of what was gonna happen. I called all this years ago. It's in the county record. And so if you're new, that's the Alan Osborne shoot, show. Turn into local politics as we cover that you can't make this shit up. It has to be true. And that's the way it was on Sunday. Bless us all and enjoy the Emerald Coast. It's beautiful. Let's hope our officials don't ruin it. Y'all keep them straight out there because they can't keep themselves straight.